Hey church, hey, this week we're continuing our series going through some of the martyrs through the centuries and kind of what we can learn about our faith through them. Uh, today we're going to talk about the, the martyr Adrelion. Now Adrelion was uh, alive during the third century, so he's, he's writing or he's dying about 250 to, to 300. And this is a significant time period in Christianity because for the first time, for the first time in the history of the Roman Empire, there is a international persecution going on all throughout the different regions of the Roman Empire. For the first time, there is an active persecution against the Christians. Now, previous to this, there are other people who were persecuted for their faith, for Christianity. But as, as of this point in history, this was the first time that it was really going on on a national and almost an international level. And Adrelion is an actor. And Adrelion is watching all of these Christians die. And he's, he's moved by it. And, and he was a non-believer, but as he's watching all of these Christians die, he decides himself to become a Christian, thinking that he wants to be a part of the faith that can move people to be willing to die. And so it was their deaths that persuaded him. And what's beautiful about this story is that Adrelion confessed his faith for the first time while he was acting in the middle of a play. He said the words, I am a Christian for real. And then was immediately tried and put to death for his confession of his faith in Christ. Now, a couple of lessons we can take from this. You know, one of the ways that the Bible describes and then one of the warnings that he gives us is he tells us not to be hypocrites and not to be doing things for the sake of being seen by others. In fact, one of the ways that the Bible describes what we should avoid being doing is it describes that we should not be actors of our faith. And in Adrelion, we see this actor who was used to faking things all his life confess something for real, that living for Christ was worth dying for. It's a beautiful story of someone's faith and, and what moved them for their faith, and I believe it was worth sharing with us today. So church, have a great day, and may the Lord protect you.